rain, an eventful first half, five goals, um, probably could have been more for either side. Uh, going at the break in the lead, come out early second half, can see the penalty, but there was no more goals in the second half. Tommy made a great save to stop the penalty, but we walk away with all three points. Um, your take on a bit of a strange afternoon? It was a strange afternoon. I think it was um, self-inflicted, if you like. I thought we were poor today. A very unenjoyable sort of game of football to be involved in, to watch. Uh, I thought our standards were, were nowhere near um, what they need to be to, to be a force in this league. Um, that said, we had a good few chances. Um, and we give away again some really poor goals. I mean, we obviously give them a helping hand with the first one, uh, own goal, um, and then it's poor defending for the second one. Um, but I didn't feel that we started the game well, I didn't feel we competed in the first 20 minutes, and that sort of set the tone. And sometimes when you're in games like that as a player, it's hard to then get yourself out of that sort of rut and that sloppiness. And that continued to half time. Thankfully, we managed to uh, score three goals in that first half. Um, and get our noses in front but again it was a real slog but as I said to the group in there sometimes you do have to encounter days like that where as a group you're not at the races um, we did it against Great Wakering and, and come away from that game on, on the other side of, of losing the game so thankfully we, uh, we dug in today and, and we battled and we managed to grind out a, uh, a three points and again sometimes in football you, you need to do that um. Goals from three different players today, especially from, from Sham, who got his third in three. He seems to be coming into a bit of a rich reign of form at the moment. Yeah, the big man's um, doing okay at the minute in front of goal. Um, he's probably be guilty of missing one or two, as, as are most of our attacking minded players at the moment. Um, but yeah, he's scoring, he's on a little bit of a run, so I'm pleased for the big man. Um, and it's just a matter of, as I say, being ruthless in that final third. You touched on Wayne sort of not being at it today. Is there anything that you can kind of put your finger on that? I mean, it, 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 as I said earlier, it did kind of feel a strange afternoon, but there, there wasn't seemed to, be, seemed to be any rhyme or reason why that was the case. It was perhaps just one of those afternoons. I sense it in the warm up, and sometimes as a, as a manager, a coach, you do get a sense that they're not at the races, and you know you get into them after the warm up, during the warm up, before the game, to try and generate that sort of enthusiasm and, and that sort of wake up call if you like to, to make sure that they do start the game well and um, that wasn't to be today so you can try and say and do all the right things that you feel that you need to to get the group where they need to be mentally um, but listen for sure we've got Chelmsford on Tuesday Conference South team they won't turn up like that you know they didn't turn up like that against Arsenal they did turn up like that against Concord a bit of Ricky. You know, and this is no disrespect, whatever, to Romford, but they're probably one of the, the lesser teams in the, in, the, in this division. And it's the good teams; they're ruthless, and their mentality is week in, week out, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, of those high standards. And at the minute, there's a culture throughout the team that we're just not doing that against what they feel is going to be a rollover, and that's not the case. And you've seen that today because. Teams like Bromford, you know, they, they they give it a roll. You know, they, they battle, they fight. You know, like their life depends on it, and they become a real, real tough fixture. Um, just like every fixture will be in this league. And if we're not at the races mentally, that's what happens. And again, it's happened against Great Wakering, where we wasn't at the races, and we got turned over. Um, and it's happened again today. Thankfully, obviously, Tom has kept us in the game for the for the penalty save. Uh, double save, which was unbelievable from from him as a as a personal point of view. Um, but we need to find a way because you know what are we now probably a third through the season, nearly halfway through the season. We've dropped a lot of points um, against teams where we should should be winning games of football, and we're not. And there's a reason why we're not. So again, we'll keep working hard as a staff trying to get the best out of the group. But it's about the group taking responsibilities first and foremost personally for their own performance and secondly collectively to make sure that they find the right recipe so every time they step over that white line they're at the races i sort of touched on the negatives there a bit and i think it's fair to say that the, what we've just spoke about is a bit of negative but to focus on the positives that's another game where, where we haven't lost so we, you know three games aren't unbeaten now we've, we've scored three goals which is a positive and things you know we found that very difficult at times this season you, you touched on Chelsea coming, um, 
on Tuesday. Games are coming thick and fast now, so the boys have got plenty of opportunities to put these issues, if you like, to bed and just maintain that, that unbeaten run as we head into probably what is going to be the busiest period of the season. Yep, we've got two real tough games coming up, Chelmsford and then Stone Market away, who are a real, real good outfit in this, in this league. Um, so yeah, listen, I'm with you. If we scored three goals, we've won a game of football. And it was only a couple of weeks ago where I'm standing here and we've lost the game of football 2-1. So yeah, there's plenty of positives and we'll put the positives into the team. But there can't be an acceptance. There can't be an acceptance that that's good enough. Because ultimately it's not good enough. Yes, we're delighted with the three points, that's what we're in the game for. But if your performances and your standards are of a higher standard and at a level week in and week out, you win games of football. And that's what we've got to get back to. Um, and that's what I'll keep driving into the lads. Well done today, Wayne. Cheers.